love is in the air hopefully so valentine's day is coming up and i am hoping that that gives us some good luck on my breeding projects that i have going on i know i don't really talk about my breeding projects too terribly much but i figured it is the season of love so let's do this i wanted to go ahead and show you what i'm working on and basically just kind of prep them for this weekend because i do intend on breeding all of these this weekend and hopefully i'll have a video sometime around valentine's day saying that it all went well so i'm not going to talk too much i want to get right into it so first up we have my albopelosis her name is bear and as you can see she is freshly molted which is so good to happen before you try breeding because unfortunately if you do successfully pair some tarantulas and then the female molts if she was gravid she will no longer be gravid and you have to try pairing again so it's great that she's freshly molted she should be more receptive I'm gonna go ahead and just steal this molt oh 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 I think she's hungry also, sorry if you hear that dog right back there. She is chewing away on one of her chew toys and that's fine. Oh, I dropped the molt. I didn't even realize it. Is that good? We're gonna go ahead and feed her. But yeah, so this is the Nicaraguan or the wild form of curly hair and it's right behind it. Oh, 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 this is kind of in the way. We're gonna take that from you if that's okay. Can I have that? Just thank you, delicious. Are you, what are you doing? So we have a molt, very nice. And I'm gonna set that aside. I'll put that in the skin bin. And since she just molted and I am gonna try to pair her, I think I'll give her an extra super worm. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. All right, she's got it. Two worms. So if something goes wrong in the breeding video and somebody's like, you should have fed her first, I, I'm just gonna link this video because every time that happens, people are like, oh, you should have fed her first. And it's like, yes, I actually did. I just didn't show that on camera. So here is evidence. Yes, they are getting fed first, of course. We'll just give it an extra little. And there you have it. She is prepped. She is ready for her date this weekend. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get to her boyfriend. He's ready. This guy is, I think he's pretty fresh. My friend Amy over at Fang Hub Tarantulas gave him to me and specifically said, hey, if you're successful at this, I don't want babies. And I was like, okay, cool. I will find a way to get rid of the babies. Having said that, by the way, March 5th, St. Louis Reptile Show, I'm gonna be vending for my first time. So if you wanna come say hi, I, I'm gonna probably have jumping spider babies. I have quite a few right now. So as long as they do okay, I'll have jumping spider babies. And also I'm gonna be selling just like little merch items, keychains. I'm possibly gonna make some jumping spider hides and stuff like that. So if you wanna see me, it'll be my first time vending. I would love to say hello to you. And if any of these breedings actually turn out to be successful, I will absolutely be vending them eventually. But anyway, here he is. And as you can see, he actually has what we call a sperm web. And then if you zoom in, I, you'll probably see it when I feed him. On his pedipalps, he has something called emboli and that's where they store it. And then they kind of inject it into the feed email from there so oh good he's gonna be nice and fed too and yeah right there on the ends of his pedipalps see how they are those are called emboli if you didn't know but look how fresh he is how gorgeous he is. She just molted and she's fresh. He's pretty fresh. They're both eating. I have a very good feeling about these. So let's give him a little spray down. All right, so let's move on. So now we're gonna move on to my certified man-eater, Salute Cattle Vegans. Okay, so he has to know she's there and she has to know he's there. Oh my God. Toledo Cuddle Vegans are very temperamental and I have paired her with this male several times and both of them have not been happy with each other. I think the reason why is because she was already paired with a different male and then she just molted about a month ago and I haven't tried pairing them yet. This male is super duper old. I'll show you him in a minute, but he might still get the job done. And if he doesn't, and if he goes out, he's going out an old man, a very, very old man. Okay, so it's still sad, but yeah, let me show you Houdini. If you remember, Houdini was like one of my first tarantulas. I believe she was my sixth tarantula, something like that. And she is just so vicious, so, so vicious. But I have paired her before and I did get an egg sac from her before, but unfortunately it was not a good one. So we're really gonna keep trying because this is a great species to breed. Awesome, went right for that. Excellent. 
I'm not sure where her, oh, oh, there, there's her molt. She really seems to have shredded this one up. This is a good sign, so. I have a feeling that that's what needed to happen and why when I was pairing her, it wasn't working out. So let's really hope that we get some success with this male I'm about to show you. Oh, is she dancing? She is, yay. Look at her go. I wasn't recording yet. You, oh, you got it before I could record it. So let me talk about this male. Okay, so this male, his name is, this guy's name is Baby K, and he's actually Amy. She's a viewer, and she dropped him off at Tropical World Pets for me so long ago, and I, I have tried pairing again. Nothing successful has happened. Female needed to molt, I guess. So that would be really cool if I do manage to breed him. I'm sure she's probably wondering how he's been doing because I, I feel like it's been at least maybe like six months or so since I got him. He's fine. He's just really old. But but the fact that he's kind of out and about and still eating tells me that he probably is good to go. Yes, 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 yes. So the fact that he is eating and stuff is very encouraging. And as you can see, the males are much more leggy mature. They have something called tibial hooks. I'll zoom right on in. You see that hook on his first legs? That is the tibial hook. And then right next to it, that bulbous that is his emboli, and that is how you can tell he is a mature man looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> Tap off his water right here. I have one more pair left. Yeah, this is Pikachu, and I actually have paired Pikachu before, but unfortunately, I never got an egg sac from her, quite unfortunately. So I have another male. I have tried pairing them once, nothing happened, and I was a little nervous because she broke that one male's foot that one time. Don't worry, he lived and he went back home. But we have another male that another viewer, Stacy, sent me and I'll show you him in a minute. But hopefully she likes this guy. It'll be her third boyfriend. I have a good feeling because I've paired her in the past twice. No issues, but also no egg sac. And also if I didn't say it and you don't know, she's a grandma stole poker piece. Great. And she actually just ate not long ago, but I will go ahead and just give her two just so everybody is very well fed. Get it, get it, get it. You got it. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and give her some water as well. Final mail, this is from a, another friend of mine, also a viewer, and she was kind enough to send me this mail quite a long time ago. He is very old. He was already very old when she sent him to me and he's only gotten older. But like I said, Pikachu has really just not been feeling it too much. But since he's so old, you guys, I do not want him to die a virgin. I really don't want that. And I know Stacy wouldn't want that either. So we're going to go ahead and try to pair them. And you know, hopefully she likes him and doesn't eat him. He's very old. He doesn't really take food anymore, but I'm going to try. Take it. He did eat a cricket not long ago though. So there is that, but I'm going to actually crush the head so that it won't so that it won't burrow and then it's just kind of right there if he decides he wants it later. If he won't eat, water is a good thing. Hopefully he will take some of the water. But there he is. I mean, even though he's not eating, his abdomen does look good. And I really think I did feed him maybe a week ago. I usually don't feed my adults every week, but I did feed everybody last week. But if he is hungry, there is a super worm. Hopefully he'll, he'll get it before this weekend when we do the pairing. So that is all the tarantulas that I'm going to pair this weekend. Hopefully it all goes well. Nobody becomes lunch. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you won't be. Don't forget I'm on Instagram. There's probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a teespring. It's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks. 